Hi, my artist. This is Ms. Schaefer or Senora Schaefer. This is Hispanic Heritage Month. And it started the same day as our International Dot Day did on September 15th, but it lasted an entire month. So I thought we could look into our Hispanic artists and look down their journey and see if they can influence us to make our own beautiful artwork. So you ready? Let's go. Hola, I am Frida Kahlo, and I was a Mexican painter inspired by the styles of naive folk art and surrealism. Artist Frida Kahlo was born in Mexico in 1907. Frida began mostly painting self-portraits after she was severely injured in a bus accident. She was known for her many portraits, self-portraits, and works inspired by the nature and artifacts of Mexico. She used a naive folk art style and surrealism for most of her artwork. Today, artist Frida Kahlo is considered one of Mexico's greatest artists. Look at these three self-portraits. She has animals, she has nature, she even has her husband, and he's holding his favorite paintbrushes and palette. What would you put in your background? It's your turn now, so let's start with a piece of paper. I'm using a marker because pencil's kind of hard to see from a video. So you wanna use a pencil to start out with and do an oval. Once you have your oval, you're looking halfway down your paper and you are going to make a line in a curve to make your eyes. There are five eyes all the way across and you're only filling in the second eye and the fourth eye. Bring the center down in towards the nose and you're going to make a round circle for your iris. Then you are gonna make a curve over for your lids. Once you've done that, you can co slightly color the sides in to show the roundness of your eyeball. So now you're gonna do your pupil and I like to do it like a moon or the letter C. You don't fill it away all the way you need to leave a white spot just at the corner so that it looks like it's shining and reflecting. So now I draw lines through my iris to add the color. Now I'm gonna darken the edges and make a double line at the bottom. And our eyelashes always go towards our ears so we're going down and then up to swoop down and then up. Now the ones directly underneath and above your pupil are gonna go straight down or straight up. Now it's your nose and noses are three circles in a row. So you're gonna make one circle and two smaller ones on the side. Then you bring it up for the nostrils and they're usually like ovals. You can probably barely see them depending on the person and you're gonna bring an arch to your nose, but you're only doing one side. You're not gonna do both sides because usually a light source is hitting one side. Now your arch of your eyebrow is gonna go up and then down as soon as it gets past your pupil. So now we fill in all the little hairs in the eyebrow. Now our mouth, you're gonna mimic a U that's right underneath the nose. And you're gonna make the letter M, kind of a lazy letter M. And at the bottom is gonna be the bottom of a boat. It's flat with the diagonal lines at the side. And then of course the top is kind of like a lazy letter M again. The top lip will be darker than the bottom lip. So if you do shading, you wanna do it to the top lip and not so much to the bottom. Your chin will be round and you're gonna to start to shape your face. So you wanna go tight near the eyes where your temple is and go down to your chin. Now there's always gonna be a hairline below and above your skull line. So that's why we do our hair below and now we're gonna go above it. Ears go between your eyes and your nose and sometimes you don't see the other ear so you don't have to draw it. When you draw bangs, depends on the person and whether you have shorter hair or longer hair, and you decide that. 
your neck will be skinny if you're young or maybe it's a female, um, whereas the male neck is maybe wider depending on the person. And then your shoulders are gonna go off the page to the left or the right. They're not gonna go straight down. Now draw your favorite things, people, or animals in the background, just like Frida. I use marker and color pencil on mine, and this one is my version of things I like. My tiki torches are paint brushes. I hope you enjoyed this Frida-inspired art project. Bye for now.